was once banned by the church for being immoral, but now the tango is one of the most popular dancers right around the world. And Adrian is at the Perth Tango Club for us this morning. Adrian, how's your posture? Oh, Lou, it's, uh, didn't, it wasn't very good when I started, but it's getting quickly better. Good. I'm here at Perth Tango Club, thanks to Lottery West, and they've just received about a $4,500 grant to help the club and keep it going. And I'm here with George. George, tell us a bit about the history of tango for people who don't know. Well, people who doesn't know about tango, tango started with the, in the 1700s when the slaves went to South America. A few mm -hmm. of them, they stay in areas like Buenos Aires and... Mm -hmm. In the, in the poor side, in the poor areas, and then, and then they used to dance a, a kind of rhythm called milonga. Milonga. With, with the introduction of the, of the European migrants, mm -hmm. migrants, they, they brought the bandoneon, the violin, and the lyrics. That's where it was the birth of tango. That was the birth of tango. So let's get into it. I'm over here with Svetlana. Svetlana's going to teach me some moves. So what are we starting with? Okay, uh, the yeah. most important in tango is the sweet embrace. So tango <laughs> the sweet is... embrace. Very suitable for morning TV, no? <laughs> okay. Um, Tango is um, originally danced in a close embrace. So okay. We call it um, a dance of one person with four legs. Okay, so okay. Let's, let's go. Let's see. Um, and the um, first step is um, towards your partner, all right? Okay. So we're doing so... a caminata, the tango walk. Tango walk, okay. Here we go. Oh, got the tango walk. Beautiful. Beautiful, doing good. I, I see why this was banned. We are very close right now. Okay, <laughs> And one more. One um, more. Once we've done with that, yes. uh, and then um, there is another good one called Orchis, see, which is eight. What's it called? Eight. It's called eight, Orchis, eight. Come on. which Orchis. means eight. Eight. Okay. Uh, yeah. See so the. Yes. Oh. Is... yes. There we go. Yes. We good. What do you think? Oh, look at the leg movement. It might take a little time for me to get my leg movements <laughs> quite as good, but I'm feeling pretty confident. I think I might practice for a bit longer. Thank you very much, Fed Let's take a look at the Bravo, amigo. Hey, bravo, bravo, bravo got, amigo. Got a bravo, amigo. I'm doing good. <laughs> three degrees, a chilly three degrees, headed to a top of 18. <laughs> a look across our suburbs. We have, oh, pardon me, Midland, 18 degrees. June up 17 degrees, and in a week ahead, Wednesday, a mostly sunny 19. Thursday, a mostly sunny 20. Friday, a possible shower developing at 22. And Saturday, a rainy 21 degrees. Bring your umbrellas. I'm a bit tired, I'm a bit puffed out. I'm just gonna sit back here and let the experts do their work and you can just enjoy enjoy them dancing, Lou. Oh, I love the tango. Oh. Bit more practice for you though, unfortunately, Adrian. Isn't it nice? See you tomorrow. Oh, well. we'll see how we go. <laughs> see ya. See you there. Now let's see what Adrian is up to tomorrow. Well, I'm feeling pretty confident with my tango skills after today. Tune in tomorrow. I'm going to be in Osborne Park learning how to become a ninja. You wouldn't want to miss it. I'll see you then.